Thanks for watching The Nine. All right, welcome back, everybody. According to the U.S. Surgeon General, many students are still suffering from post-pandemic social and wellness concerns, such as loneliness and isolation. Hosting exchange students offers a chance to get to know somebody from another part of the world, experience other cultures, and it brings people together. Joseph Olivier, the local coordinator for the International Cultural Exchange Services, is here to tell us more. Welcome. Good morning. So, um, yeah, explain to us, first of all, what you, the program is all about. All right, so International Cultural Exchange Services was founded in 1991 by Mr. John J. Chris. Uh, we're a worldwide leader in international educational exchange for the past 30 years, facilitating the exchange years for uh, students from over 30 countries. Okay, so you're talking about stu high school age students for the most part? Correct. Okay, and the idea is that if I'm a family who and I want to host uh, a child from a, another country, I would go through your organization. Correct. And how does that, how is the match made? Well, it's, uh, there's two ways to go about it. What I like to call off the rack or custom fit. Now, off the rack, you respond to a uh, social media post okay. for a specific student, and uh, you say, I'd like, to, I'd like to host this particular student, and then, uh, and then we start the vetting process. But if that particular student is not available, then uh, we go for what I call a custom fit. So I take a look at your lifestyle, your uh, family structure, your interests, and then I go through the application bank and uh, pick out a particular student for, that uh, fits that. And are there, uh, what's the number, what are the numbers like? How many students want to come and live with an American family? Mm. Well, right about now, somewhere, somewhere in between uh, 500 and 600 are, are uh, currently in play. Okay, so in, in other words, is there a great need for families to host foreign exchange students? <clears throat> uh, there, there is uh, quite, the, quite the need, but there is, but there's also a lot of benefits for uh, for the families, for the community, and for uh, the education system in particular. What are the yeah? Give us some of the benefits. Well, for the family, it's a uh, great it's a great way to uh, have a bonding experience. Mm -hmm. Some families actually come out of it being stronger, better communicators, from what I've been told by the families themselves. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And uh, economically speaking. Each student brings two to four hundred dollars per month on a bet on a uh, debit card mm -hmm. for allowance, and that gets used for school lunches, activities, and uh, other expenses that uh, the student might that the student might have. So, two to four hundred dollars times ten months, we're talking an injection of at least four thousand dollars into the economy mm. per student. All right. That's a major boost. And not to mention just the relationships that you're making and learning about other people's culture, sharing ideas, and um, perhaps creating a lifelong relationship, right? Exactly. Um, how, how do you know if you're a good fit, a good family to do this? Well, there are families of all shapes, all shapes, types, and sizes. I mean, I've had single people, same-sex couples, childless couples, uh, couple, uh, families with small children. So it's, anyone uh, could uh, pretty much. Can step up. All right, very good. How do people find your organization, Joe? Well, you can contact me directly, 586-871-6845. Uh, okay. My, my phone number or uh, email, or email uh, the organization. And the organization is the? International Cultural Exchange Services. There we go. Very good. Well, thank you. It's good information, something to think about over the summer. Absolutely. All right, here's your chance to win a one-of-a-kind Harley-Davidson built right here in the Motor City, how you can enter, and the impact that it will have on local veterans.